Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 15th. We're going to jump right in here. Now, you have this silence card. It says moving in silence while, while you continue to build. You have this unseen card. It says though you don't see it now, there is something better coming. So uh, I feel like you need to continue to build, obviously. I'm, I am almost positive that a couple weeks ago, uh, you had a card that said like, don't share your ideas or, you know, it said like, keep your ideas to yourself at this time, something like that. And so, it, you know, I would definitely pay attention to that. I wouldn't tell people what you're doing until it is done and then people can find out, right? <laughs> so uh, that's what I would do with this energy for sure. Uh, you have the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Emperor showing up here. Uh, the King of Cups is about your emotions. We're in a little bit of an um, emotional time, um, you know, because we're in cancer season. And I feel that a couple weeks ago, it was like a very emotional week and people might still be feeling that energy. Uh, I feel that it is a great time to kind of like tap into your emotions. Uh, the King of Cups has explored his emotions on a very deep level. He's sitting in the middle of the ocean and he is sitting on this like slab and there's these choppy waters all around him, but he is perfectly fine. The reason he's not worried is because he has explored his emotions on a deep level. And I feel that's what this is saying. It's like saying, you know, how do you feel about everything that you're doing in your life right now and you know can you do more of the things that make you feel good can you do more of the things that make you feel abundant you end with the nine of pentacles as well so i, I would pay attention to that uh, you could be attracting love as well you have the magician to the two of cups you have the knight of cups here so for those of you uh that want love i definitely feel there could be a king of cups type person coming in for you it doesn't have to be a water sign it could be any sign it could just be a person who is very emotionally stable uh, you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords would be like some sort of big win or a victory coming in for you. Uh, this could also be you trying to manifest communication because we have Ace of Swords, Magician to the Two of Cups. So if you've been trying to like manifest communication from a person or something like that, uh, you definitely could be getting communication. Uh, I also feel that you are creating more balance. You know, the Ace of Swords is perfectly balanced. And sometimes I just feel like it's saying that the person I'm reading for is creating more balance in their life. And I feel that emotional balance, of course, would be a good idea for you. I also, I feel a million things here. I also feel that with that unseen card, it says, though you don't see it uh, now, something better is coming. I feel that Ace of Swords is like a victory that you're hoping to have some sort of win in your life. And I feel like you just need to keep going. I mean, you have the page of wands in that next row. And the page of wands is kind of just one foot after the other and continuing to move forward. So it's like something is about to break, but in a good way. It's more like you're about to have a breakthrough is kind of the energy I feel here. Uh, you have the emperor. Uh, you could be attracting an emperor or an empress, take it how it resonates. But uh, I also feel this is talking about you taking action. The Emperor really is a card of taking control by taking action on something that you desire. So I think it would be an amazing time for you to take action. And of course, uh, Jupiter is in your sign. So with Jupiter in your sign, it's like you're meant to expand. A great way to expand is to take actions uh, on things that you want to create or have in your life and to do more of the things that bring more stuff into your life. So that's what I would do with the Emperor. But uh, let's see what is going on. Uh, with the Page of Cups, or sorry, the <laughs> Page of Cups, the King of Cups, you have the Sun. Uh, there you go. Love it. Uh, it could be a fire sign. You have Leo and Aries showing up here. Um, so it could be a fire sign that's coming in for you. The Sun would also rep represent optimism. And so this could say that it would be a great time to practice, uh, you know, focusing more on the bright side of life, making sure that you're focusing on the things that are working and not the things that aren't working. But, uh, you know, the Sun makes the whole entire reading more positive. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Strength card, you know, Leo again. So it could be Leo. You could have Leo in your chart as well. Uh, the Ace of Swords and the Strength card together is double strength. I mean, it is fortitude. You know, the Ace of Swords is a card of fortitude, not giving up, uh, creating success. The Strength card is a card of strength and fortitude. So I feel a lot of you are kind of using just your inner, the inner strength that you have developed to accomplish your goals or to have a victory with that Ace of Swords. And that's exactly what you should be doing. Uh, that's what the cards want you to do. Uh, with the Emperor, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. Uh, I feel like you're more in a position, I'm kind of surprised like the Nine of Cups 
hasn't shown up here. It might. Um, we'll see. But the Nine of Cups is about like choosing who you give to. There's like a couple of ways to read the Nine of Cups. He's got those cups behind him. And one of the ways to read the Nine of Cups is that he's like a barkeep and he is giving those cups out. So he is choosing who he gives his emotions and his feelings to and you know all that other stuff. And I kind of feel that here with the Six of Pentacles. I, I get more Nine of Cups type of energy where it's saying that you are choosing, which it does represent that, but you know I feel like you are picking and choosing what uh, situations to invest in. And of course, that is going to be good. That will create more balance in your life. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you here, you have a skunk card. It says conflict avoidance, discretion, and lunar energy. You have a Komodo dragon. It says ferocity, uh, survival instincts, and revolutionary change. So there are clearly some big changes coming in for you. Uh, with a skunk, you know, of course, if something doesn't smell right, <laughs> I, would I would avoid it at all costs. It could be something in your fridge that you're about to eat, Gemini. Don't eat it. But I feel that this is saying, you know, make sure you're paying attention to how you feel about situations. If it doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. So I feel you should listen to that. The Komodo dragon is also giving me kind of like strength vibes as well. So clearly you've uh, developed a lot of strength. You have the Page of Wands, the Magician, and the Three of Swords. The Page of Wands, I just get that kind of one foot in front of the other, um, making progress or you're doing things to make progress. The Page of Wands also, he, the only thing he listens to is his enthusiasm. So you have the sun here, which says move towards your happiness, and the Page of Wands pretty much does the same thing. He desires to do something, and he starts working his way towards it, whatever it is, like a goal, wish, dream, a person, a place, a thing, doesn't matter. Uh, I, he just starts working towards it, and he learns as he goes, and he figures it out. So I feel for a lot of you that there are changes that you're wanting to make. I would just start making those changes as much as you possibly can, even if you can't right now, because if you take those steps, the universe moves out of the way. I truly believe that. You know, I always get comments from people that are like, I want to move, but I can't afford to move. I'm like, just start taking those steps and just see what happens. It's like, I always tell the story. Years ago, I moved to Seattle and my brother and I, we like really couldn't afford to do it. But you know what the funny thing is, is like we moved and I started making more money. <laughs> so it's like, I am convinced that if you just kind of get started and you just make the moves, the universe moves out of the way. Maybe you have to start small. Maybe you just have to start looking for new places because when you do that, you're in the energy of doing it and then you can attract more good things. So I feel like this is saying, just make the move no matter what, like it, I'm not saying it has to be a move. It could be anything. Just start taking the smallest action you can. Uh, you have the magician. The magician is about manifesting a dream in reality. I feel like you could be, number one, the magician is pointing to the two of cups. So you could be attracting love if that's what you're after. Uh, but the two of cups can also just be you communicating with your higher self. And it can say that you, you, your higher self is trying to guide you towards something. And I feel that the second you start making moves towards whatever that is, is the second that you will be very successful. So I feel like you need to start kind of like making moves towards, um, you know, towards bigger and better things with that two of cups or towards whatever you're being guided to move towards. Like you could be having dreams or daydreams about things uh, that the, your higher self wants you to manifest. Uh, you have the three of swords. Uh, Three of Swords is a card of heartbreak or sadness. Uh, really, I feel like it's a really good reading. I feel like you're healing. I also feel that you could be putting up boundaries here against heartbreak or sadness. Remember, we have the skunk over here. And the Seven of Wands is a card of drawing a line in the sand. You know, it's a card of saying, I'm not going to allow these things that mess up my day into my life. And I feel like you are maybe paying attention to the people, places, and things that knock you off your square with the can of cups. And you could be putting boundaries up against those things. And again, it doesn't have to be love related. It could be anything. And by doing that, by protecting yourself, you're probably attracting more abundance. Uh, with the page of, so page of Wands, you have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords could say that you have your eye on a person <laughs> or a person has their eye on you. Uh, so take it how it resonates. But again, if you want love, there is plenty of love in this reading. And you know, this could be a person who's watching you. The Page of Swords is also a card of curiosity. So for those of you that are on a new journey or working on something new, I would follow your curiosity. Uh, with the Magician, you have the Ace of Cups. So again, love uh, definitely could be a very strong connection that you're manifesting here. The Ace of Cups could also be something that causes your emotions to overflow. And we're talking about in a good way here, Gemini. So if you're if you have ideas for like you know, a project or something to work on, or if you want to move, uh, this could say that you're getting an opportunity to enter into a place where your emotions will overflow or where you will be very happy. So I would again move, focus on your happiness. Uh, with the three of swords, you have the two of pentacles. 
Two of Pentacles is like work hard, play hard. So again, with the Three of Swords can be a card of healing. If you're working too much, make sure you're also filling your fun bucket, as I love to say. Uh, make sure you're doing the things that you love to do. A lot of people have been getting this type of energy right now. So I, I, I kind of feel like people could just be in a place of hard work or, you know, people could just be thinking like, oh, I have to work really hard to accomplish whatever. And, and, and I feel like this is saying balance so that you don't get sick, injured or anything else. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have this by the book card and this Yang energy card. The Yang energy card just says, just get started on the journey. The by the book card, you have the five of wands as your first card. And I kind of feel like this is saying that, you know, don't don't come up with an, an idea in your head where things need to work exactly how you want them to, right? I feel like the buy the book card and also this five of wands are kind of like saying, you know, five of wands is a card of conflict and competition. I, I feel like it's just saying that things might not work out exactly how you want them to, especially if you're starting a project or if you're on this journey of, you know, moving towards your enthusiasm. And the five of wands is saying that, um, you know, just just because something doesn't work how you think it should work, that does not mean that it's not going to work. You know, the, the wands cards, they remind us that we have to be spontaneous, that we ha that, you know, sometimes you start a project and things don't come together right away. And that's okay. We just have to keep going. Five of wands is a card of learning. These people are using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. So it really rep it's a card of them learning how to fight. So by you experiencing, you know, if you're starting a new project or a new business, if you experience conflict or uh, challenges, then really what this is saying is that you're just learning different ways to do things, and that is a good thing. So I would continue to push forward and definitely don't give up. You have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands, I feel you're putting up boundaries. I feel you're drawing a line in the sand. The Seven of Wands is also a card of conviction. So if you are working on something like a project, a business, whatever, the Seven of Wands kind of says the more that you believe that you are going to be successful, the more successful you will be. So it's a card of really having those deep beliefs in your ability to have success. Sometimes I feel with the Seven of Wands as well, that you could be kind of like waiting for the perfect moment to do something. You know, the story of the Seven of Wands is that he feels like he rushed out of the house. He's got like two different shoes on here, and he feels like he had to rush out of the house to defend his position. And so sometimes I feel it's like the person I'm reading for might feel like they're not 110% ready to do something. And I feel like this is saying, well, you're as ready as you're going to be. So for those of you that are thinking about, you know, taking a leap of faith at this time or, um, you know, kind of leaving a comfort zone with the two and one here. I, I think that this is saying, you know, you might as well do it right now because really you can't, there's no more preparation to be done. You have the two of cups. I do feel like there could be a strong love connection coming in for you. If this person isn't a fire sign, I would say they probably have fire in their chart. They might have like fire Venus or fire Jupiter, or maybe you have a fire Venus or a fire Jupiter in your chart. I definitely get that feeling, uh, but they, you know, it could be a good match. Uh, could definitely be different than your usual type. Again, everybody has been getting the Two of Cups in love readings, and I really feel that it's because uh, we're just in a different time for love, and we could just be attracting people who are different than our usual type. So let's see where this is going for you. Uh, with the Five of Wands, you have the Three of Swords. I do feel like some of you could be fearing heartbreak, like you're fearing that if you open up to a new person that it will lead to a heartbreak, but I kind of feel like this is saying it won't. Uh, Five of Wands says you learned a lot from your last heartbreak, and now you just need to pay attention to what you learned. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Page of Wands. See, I feel like this journey here is going to lead right to the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is gratitude and luxuries. The Nine of Pentacles is, you know, pre empress energy. It's like o almost like you having a glow up, but not quite. So I feel that this journey, if you commit to a journey, is going to lead to a lot of growth and success. Uh, with the Two of Cups, you have the Two of Swords. I feel like you need to believe that things can be different is really what this is saying. You know, the Two of Swords, she's trying to protect her heart. You have the Three of Swords right next to it. So it's like you're trying to protect your heart from heartbreak or sadness. And this does not have to be in love. This could be work or maybe you've had projects fail in the past or uh, maybe you tried to move in the past and it didn't work out. But she needs to see that there is a different way of doing things. There's this island behind her, and the Two of Swords really says that there is just another way to do things. She also needs to maybe take this blindfold off because the blindfold off blindfold kind of represents the fact that uh, she needs to trust her intuition. We have the King of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups here. Uh, you could even say that the Magician 
might be he he can use his intuition he has mastery over all the suits in the tarot so he can use whatever tools necessary the other thing that's popping up is the ace of cups the ace of cups would be your heart so it kind of says that you need to follow your heart and maybe you're you're kind of blocking your heart off with the two of swords but maybe the reading is kind of saying that you need to get back to your like heart-based energy or you need to get back to the energy of listening to your heart uh, you have the snake spirit it says time to heal on it there you go you have this elephant it says learn from the past everything we've been talking about uh five of wands right so i feel this is saying with the three of swords twice definitely time to heal and and you know take as much time as you need to heal i feel like the elephant is the five of wands with the three of swords you know it's it's just saying that you have learned uh, what to look out for you have learned what to pay attention to and now it's time to kind of like move past it and uh you know start something new uh, you have the Knight of Cups, the three, Two of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. The nine, Knight of Cups can represent a knight in shining armor. So if you're looking for love, definitely could be a knight in shining armor. The Knight of Cups can also say it's time to plant seeds. He has this water flowing in front of him. And even though he's in the desert, he could plant seeds in, in front of this water and those seeds would grow. So I feel for a lot of you that, again, uh, the Knight of Cups kind of reminds me sometimes that maybe we, we feel like we don't have the resources. Again, maybe you feel like you don't have the money or the time or the effort to do something, but you actually do. If you would just get started and take those tiny steps, you would probably find success a lot faster. And your, your first card here says, though you don't see it, there's something better coming. So again, I feel like that even though you don't feel like it, things are improving, things are getting better, and you just need to keep pushing. Uh, you have the two of wands. Uh, the two of wands is about taking the lead. Um, you also have the emperor here, which can also represent taking the lead on something. The two of wands can also represent progress. And I feel pretty good about this two of wands in your reading. You know, sometimes I feel that the two of wands represents needing to leave a comfort zone or, you know, needing to leave something behind. But I kind of feel like you are getting started on the next stage of your journey and you're taking the lead in your own life. You're making your own decisions and choices uh, to make this uh, much more successful. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is a card of gratitude and luxuries. Uh, it's also the card of focus. She has this falcon right here, and the falcon kind of represents training your focus and making sure that you're focusing on the good stuff. You know, the magician, he has these flowers in front of him, and it represents the fact that he knows that to, fo to attract what he wants in his life, he has to focus on love. He has to focus on the energy of love and that doesn't have to be a person that can be things that you love in your life and i feel like focusing on those things is going to obviously attract you know more success more abundance into your life with the nine of pentacles so uh, let's see uh, with the knight of cups you have the five of swords five of swords can represent a separation or sadness but again it's coming up in the good stuff so i feel like the five of swords in the good stuff talks about you taking a risk to make something happen in your life. So if there is love coming in, you know, might be, might feel like a risk or it is a risk. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the four, um, sorry, the two of wands, you have the four of swords. Four of swords is resting, relaxing, recovering. This card here says time to heal on it. So I would take as much time as you can to rest, relax, recover, uh, do more fun stuff in your life. Uh, with the nine of pentacles, you have the 10 of pentacles. 10 of pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. It is like ultimate abundance, ultimate uh, success, and I feel like there is a lot of success and abundance coming in with that Nine of Pentacles. Uh, also really good for love for those of you that want it. You know, again, the nine of, Ten of Pentacles, uh, it, well, really, the Nine of Pentacles is like being single. The Ten of Pentacles can say you're meeting a person you could have a family with. Uh, you have this innovation card. I mean, it's definitely a time of innovation for air signs. Pluto going into Aquarius at the end of the year. Um, I think that's going to benefit all air signs. So any of your new crazy ideas uh, could be very successful. Uh, you have this seduction card. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there could be a person that you have your eye on or that has their eye on you. Uh, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, King of Cups, Knight of Cups. And I would go for it. Maybe you're wondering if it's just seduction or if there's actually something more in, in this situation. And look at this. You have the four of wands on the bottom of your clarifying deck as well. So again, there could be like a very attractive person coming into your life. There you go. 
Uh, you have the health card. Definitely watch your health. Three of swords twice. I would do everything you can to take care of yourself, to heal yourself, to rest, relax, recover. And again, part of that includes having fun. Like when you when you have fun, you are healing yourself. When you're in that energy of love, you are healing yourself. So make sure to carve out time for that. Uh, you have the order card. Mm, I feel like you're bringing order to your life. That's probably what you're trying to do is like remove the chaos or things that are chaotic and you're trying to bring more order in. And uh, finally, you have this romance card. So definitely could be a new romantic situation uh, coming in for you here. I feel like this is like true love if you're looking for love, like I said. Uh, if you're not looking for love, and even if you are, I would focus on you know bringing more love into your life as well. But this looks pretty good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.